Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video we're going to be making these cute husband and wife monogram ornaments. So these are decorated onto acrylic blanks in the shape of baubles and we're going to start by painting some gold paint on the back so that it shines through and creates a lovely base for us to add this monogram design. We'll create this in Cricut Design Space so you can add whatever name you want following these instructions and then I'll show you an easy way to transfer it onto the bauble without making any scratches and to make sure it's all lined up perfectly. Let's get started. So here's my other ornament blank and you might find when you get them that they have this backing sheet on the front and the back and that's to protect the acrylic from getting any scratches when it's in transit. I bought my acrylic blanks from a um, UK based company, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can go and get some if you want to use ones that are exactly the same and this was a great little business, um, they had lots of different acrylic shapes including unicorns and hearts and paw prints so it was a really good selection. So I'm going to start by just peeling these backings off. Now you can just do one side so that, that other side is still protected until we put the vinyl on but I like to peel them both off so that as I'm painting I can just turn it round and have a cheeky look at how it's going to look from the other side. So I'm going to peel both of these off. Alright so here we go, now this is perfectly see through. This one that I did before actually has a slight frosting to the acrylic, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a little bit opaque in the middle whereas this one is completely see through so it's going to show the paint through better. I've got a little tub of gold acrylic paint, um, this came in a set of about 20 different colours and I think I paid about £9 for it on Amazon, um, so that's really good for all that paint. I'm just going to dab a little bit onto the side of my ornament. You can use any colour you want but I quite like the gold because it's shiny. <laughs> and then I've got a paintbrush and all I'm going to do is just move that paint about to create kind of a, um, a background. And I'm not doing it straight, it's all at an angle um, which I kind of prefer the look of. But of course you can do it straight if that's what you prefer and you don't have to cover the entire um, bauble. In fact I quite like the kind of messy edges so I'm just making this a bit rustic and edgy around those sides. But if you prefer it neater then you can go all the way up to the edge. I may need to do a second coat when it's dry but I think I'm happy with how that is looking so I'm just going to leave it there to dry for about half an hour. So whilst I do that let's jump into design space and do our monogram. The first thing to do is to measure your ornament and then create a circle or whatever shape your ornament is on the screen so that you're going to know how big to make your monogram. So I've already measured mine and it's 3.25 inches and it's a circle so I've made a circle and then I can change it to 3.25 inches and then I'm just going to make this white so that I've just got that outline so that it's not going to be um, hard to see my design on the colour and I'll zoom in so that it's nice and big on my screen. Next I'm going to make the large letter to be the um, monogram and so I'm going to go into text and type out the letter that I want. So I'm going to do a J. Select the text and then choose a font. The font that I'm using is um, available from creativefabrica.com and I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And it is called Christmas Snow. So if I choose that, you can then see that that is um, my letter and I'm going to make it nice and big to fit onto the ornament and I'm just going to rotate it a little bit um, so it's not quite so wonky because I think that will look better. 
All right, so next we need to do the name to go across the middle. So go into text again and type out the name. I find that this looks best when you do a lowercase letter for the first letter of the name, so the J, um, because if you do a capital, then it can take up too much space and look a little bit strange. So I need to change the font to um, one that is a bit more of a script font so that it will go across the middle nicely. I'm using another font from Creative Fabrica and this one is called Christmas Family. Now when you choose script fonts in Design Space, it puts these gaps between the letters which we don't want. So um, you can use the letter space uh, box near the top and change that number so I've put mine to negative three and now all my bits are touching. There's a slight difference between the E and the S, so maybe something like minus four. Okay. Now I can position this over the capital letter and rotate it a little bit to fill in the gap. And now I can just move everything around until I'm happy with the size and the positioning. So I've moved this around and I'm happy with how this is going to look, but because um, the word along the middle is overlapping the J, it means when I layer the vinyl, I'm gonna have to put the James word on top of the bits of the J. And I'm a bit worried that might cause my vinyl to bubble or look uneven if I'm layering it one on top of the other. So what I'm gonna do instead is just cut out the bits of the J at the back that have the word over the top of it. So I'm going to zoom in a bit more to make this easier to see and then go into shapes and choose a circle. You can make this a nice bright colour and then make the circle quite small. And then position it, so I want to cut my J just above this line of the M. So I'm going to put the circle so the edge of it is going to cut into that line from the J where I want it to cut. So I'm going to do this again and just do it underneath. And the reason we're using circles is it gives you a nice curved edge when you slice it out of the letter. Uh, it just looks a little bit neater than using, um, say, a square or a harsh line. So I'm going to do the same here. I might make this a bit smaller and then I'm just going to put this just above that E. And then one more to go just below it. Now I can weld those four circles together, so click on one in the layers panel, press Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard and choose the other circles. And then down the bottom of the layers panel, press weld to join them all together. The reason we welded it is you can only slice two layers at a time. So if we'd have chosen to leave those four as separate circles, we'd have needed to do the next step four times instead of once. So now I can choose the circles and then press control on my keyboard and choose the J at the back. Go down to the bottom of the layers panel and press slice. So what this has done is it's cut the circles out of the letter. So you can see in the layers now we've got four slice results. You can click and delete on all of the ones that are yellow and also the back one that's just the lines in the middle so that you're just left with this one layer and if I move it to the side you can see it's now got these bits cut out of it. You might find that your letter has some little pieces left in the middle where your circles didn't quite join up. If it does then you can click into contour down the bottom right of the layers panel and then it will bring up a new window with the letter in it and you can just click on those little bits that are left over and it will hide them for you. Okay, so now this is nearly ready to cut, but I'm just going to change the colours. So I'm going to cut that one from white. Design Space has a little bug in it at the moment. It used to keep an outline on it when you change something to white, and apparently it doesn't anymore. So um, I'm just going to do it as grey so I can still see it. And then the word James I'm going to cut from blue vinyl. So I just like changing the colours before I cut it so that I can get an idea of how the colours are going to look together. 
but I'm happy with that and it's going to go onto the ornament with the gold paint and I think that will show up nicely. So when we're cutting this we don't need to cut out the circle at the back, we were just using that as a guide. So hide that layer by clicking the little eye icon next to it in the layers panel. And now you can go ahead and click make it and go ahead and cut it out. Now before you do that I'm just going to mention one extra thing. I'm using Design Space version 6.0.150 which was released at the start of December 2020 so it's still pretty new and unfortunately there are some bugs in it. I found when I was testing this out that even though my word James was all one word and I haven't separated the letters out or anything, when I cut it, it cut like each letter individually rather than one word as a whole, which meant that um, all of the letters had little slits in them where it was cutting and um, when I tried to take it off the backing piece of vinyl, it all came apart. So to stop that from happening, with your word selected, just go down to the bottom of the layers panel and press weld and then that will make sure that all of those letters will stay as one piece when you cut it. If you press weld sometimes it can fill in the middle of the letters which you obviously don't want. Um, so if yours does that just click the undo button in the top to undo the weld and then a trick to stop it doing that is to select the word, make a note of the size of it so that you can put it back in a minute. So mine's 1.069. Make it really big, like massive like this, and then try welding again and you'll probably find that that time it does not um, fill in the gaps. And then you can just change the size back. Oops. <laughs> Made that a bit too big. No, I can't remember what um, <laughs> what that number was that I said. Let's just, there we go, that's close enough. Um, there we go, that's right. Okay, so now I can try that again. So click make it and cut it out of my two colours of vinyl. Hopefully Design Space will fix the bug with the script letters soon so that you don't have to weld it every time. Um, but for now, if you are having that problem, then that is how to fix it. So now go ahead and cut out your vinyl and then weed away all the excess parts you don't need. And then we can stick it onto our ornament and I'll show you some ways to do this to make sure you get it all in the exact correct position and you put the vinyl on without getting any bubbles underneath it. So here are my pieces of vinyl all cut out and I've already weeded away the excess vinyl to just leave the bits I want to use. So I need to layer these two bits of vinyl together using some transfer tape so that I can put it onto the ornament. I find the easiest way to do this is to transfer the um, snow letter first. So I've cut a little bit of transfer tape and I'm just going to peel off the backing and I find a nice trick to get that backing peeled off is to use your weeding tool to kind of rip through the backing on one of the corners and then you can really easily just peel that off. Otherwise you can be there for ages trying to get one of the corners to come up to get that backing off. Okay, so I'm going to position this over my white letter and I've got glitter everywhere because I've just been recording a video on uh, glitter baubles. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing glitter forever I think. So I'll put that on there and use my scraper tool just to get it nice and stuck to that transfer tape and then I'm just going to move that to one side and bring in the name and to make it so that it's easier to line this up on the vine on the transfer tape, I'm just going to put a little bit of washi tape down the sides of this to stick it to my table so it's not going to move. Alright, so 
so now I can peel this off and hopefully my letter J will be all nicely transferred which it is so then I can just position this where it goes along the word and then when I'm happy with the positioning I can scrape along that blue to get it to stick to the transfer tape and then peel that off okay I don't need this anymore so I can just move that over to the side and then bring in my bauble so it's all nicely dry now and the paint is on the back of the bauble so it's paint side down on the desk and then take your vinyl I'm just going to use my craft mat to get this straight position it where you want it to go and then I'm going to use my finger to transfer the vinyl to the bauble I don't want to use a scraper tool because it might scratch the top of the acrylic it's very sensitive to being scratched so you want to do as much as possible to make sure it doesn't scratch when we're doing this I'm using the base of my finger I'm not using my fingernail because again that might scratch so I'm just rubbing it and then gently peeling off that transfer tape so I'm going really slowly so that if any bits aren't stuck, like the top of that J, I can just go in and rub them a little bit more with my finger to get them to stick. This seems to be coming off pretty well. You can probably see the bits of glitter on there as well. There we go. And then that is my ornament all finished and ready for a bit of ribbon so I can then hang it on my tree. So I've now got my matching Sarah and James husband and wife ornaments to go on my Christmas tree. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more Cricut Craft tutorials. Thank you for watching.